Something that I think about a lot is that you kind of have to pick and choose your battles. My battles that I've like chosen to conquer are like veganism, having a sustainable diet. I've just kind of taken every opportunity to get more involved, such as like becoming a sustainability guide or like doing a waste characterization. Um, just like trying to learn whatever I can. We host events and work days in the garden, so it gives people a chance to work out in the garden and also just have fun and enjoy friends outside. As the construction efforts have expanded the last few years at the university, we partnered with a platform that allowed us to evaluate all of our contractors based on their safety performance and establish standards for environmental protection when they work here at the university for stormwater, for how they get rid of their hazardous waste, how they store their chemicals on site. And we've been championing the slogan, work safely, someone expects you home tonight, because we value every individual who steps on the university property. I'm the president of Green Club. I'm also a employee of the Food and Agribusiness Institute, um, where we put on events such as the Impossible Barbecue, um, which focused on alternative agriculture that can reduce its environmental impacts. I'm the director of general engineering. Um, I teach a lot of classes that actually fit for the sustainability uh, pathway. So NJ110, the whole point of it is to practice engineering design. Um, so they go all the way from ideation through implementation. We're actually starting to implement some of this stuff, like the rainwater catchment is fully functional. Energy bike is now functional. Um, and we have some other prototypes like the biogas digester, which is very close to being functional. So any way that we can kind of display and use energy uh, in a better way is kind of what we're aiming for. So I decided to really focus uh, uh, my part of the slice of sustainability to the housing. Like there's so much example of a, a natural building, which is what I'm interested in. Meaning you build with what's around you. So we decided to do a, a pizza oven made out of only, only dirt and uh, straw. Everybody's really uh, interested in it when you're doing it. You know, it's very fun, and they go, you can have seven years old kids or 77 or 90 years old people. It's a very communal thing. You make mud, you step in it to mix it, you talk to people. I'm very excited to be able to share this passion I have. Engineering impacts society in a very real way. Um, and if you're not considering sustainability, you're doing harm, I think. Um, so part of the engineer's ethics creed is to protect public safety and welfare. Um, and that welfare piece is directly tied. I've had this passion for sustainability for a while. Um, even growing up in Kansas, that was something I was pretty like aware of. And I always knew I wanted to do something with my life that impacted that. And when you think about the environment, we always want to leave it better than we found it. So I'm always concerned about what are our contractors doing on the site? How are they disposing of their chemicals and how are they working? Because we do have a personal relationship with them. A lot of people weren't familiar with the garden or didn't have many opportunities to get out here, so I just wanted to share the word. Yeah, I just kind of let my passions drive whatever I do.